not a great angle on this black. He already been down playing it. If he was dead straight, he's just a little bit off. And if he screwed it back, he'd be coming away from the red slightly. So taking the much more difficult pink. Need to cue these well. Yep. Well, he got it twice. Matthew Stevens, third. But he took the pink at shows you he's in quite an attacking mood this afternoon. And of course, if you do break down against an opponent like Ronnie O'Sullivan, sometimes you finish up in your seat for the remainder of the frame. One. Yes, and the double whammy is, if you miss and you've opened the balls up, you can expect to be sitting there for quite a while. Don't know whether that pink will sneak onto its own spot. Referee Brendan Moore just going to let us know. Yes, it does. Seven. Uh, this one that's two from the pink looks as if it's available. The other five are a little awkward. There's one 50. to the right that would be available into the middle pocket. 60. But as I say, the form that uh, Ronnie has been in so far in this year's Betway UK Championship has been excellent. Just to drop one frame in three matches. In his last round, Michael Giorgio. Looked like he was going to have a, a good day. Made a 52 in the opening frame, won that, but 23. never got much chance after that initial frame that he won. 24. Uh, he's looked really comfortable all week, hasn't he, out in the venue? Been hitting the ball supremely well. And all the time making this break, it's just been perfection so far. Stun this, he'll leave himself an angle on the pink. And he can pot the pink and open up the reds after that, if he wishes. 32. Yeah, play a little screw cannon here and move one of the reds away. And leave himself on the bottom red. And played that little bit firmer, but he opened them up all right. But has he dropped on one nicely? Can he get through the gap to the red that's to the left of the black? Just about, I think. Yeah, Matthew decided on the pink. He had a very straightforward black. Wanted to open a few reds, put it on the near jaw. And this is the result. Thirty-nine. Yes, the plan of Matthew Stevens to come out and be all attacking was going pretty well till he missed that pink. It looks as if he's coming out today, Matthew, to be positive about his play. Forty-five. Trying to show Ronnie that he's in good form, but in the context of that match, that pink might be very important. I know it's the first frame, but he's just going to stamp his authority on the match there. When he missed that. 46. Well, there's one thing for certain. You don't have to sit in your chair too long if you do make a mistake because uh, he's so fluent. 52.
53. This break, well, we haven't even been going five minutes. And he's almost clinched the frame. Six. Sixty-one. He just had a quick glance at the scoreboard. He knows he only needs the pink, but he'd still like to get on the red to make absolutely certain. In fact, he'd like to clear it a lot. Sixty-seven. Hugely impressive. Opening frame of a match. First opportunity. I'll do better than this. He is some player, this boy. He really is. 68. Yeah, it's a great knack the very top players have. I mean, Steve Davis did it throughout the 80s, Stephen Henry throughout the 90s. 70. Always got off to a flyer. And the number of times 76. they made a century in the opening frame. had 85 centuries in this year's UK 79. Championship. Ronnie's had five. Ninety-four. Well, what a start to this match. Matthew Stevens, Jonathan Wilson, Nick Felty, Rory O'Sullivan cleared the remaining balls with that lovely century break. That's his 847th century in his career, and he leads the Welshman by one frame to nil.